Hey everybody, video here for you today. This is a request video. Two or three weeks ago, I did the video on ancient Nebraska, the 18,000 year old mammoth site. And I mentioned in that video, Delaware is the only state I haven't covered in the lower 48. I've made probably four or five videos on Alaska. And I've mentioned Hawaii in one video, maybe haven't done an individual video on Hawaii yet. So maybe that will wrap up every state after I do that. But I'll have to look. But today's video, I was sent a message by somebody who lives down here in Delaware. And this actually comes from offshore. This is Chesapeake Bay down here. But in the 1970s, about 60 miles offshore, somewhere in this area, a trawler brought up something very interesting. Let's just talk about that and show a few pics and do a little reading. A lot of this light blue was land over 12, 14,000 years ago before sea level rise. And I just find it interesting, a lot of these stories on megafauna and humans together, these pre-Clovis sites, some of them are well known, some of them are documented. And then there's stories like this that have kind of fallen through the cracks a little bit. Not many people know about it, so that's why I'm reporting on it today. And I want to thank the person, I think his name is George, who sent me the message. You can find some stories on this discovery. Here is one of them from seven years ago. In images, a Macedon skull and tool from Chesapeake Bay. There is a scallop trawler that made the find. It says, in 1974, a scallop trawler named Sinmar dredged up a Macedon skull and a flake blade from the ocean floor about 60 miles off the coast of Chesapeake Bay. Together, these two finds hint that the Atlantic coast may have been occupied by early settlers more than 14,000 years ago. The crew of the Sinmar was dragging their nets in about 240 feet of water. They thought one of them got snagged. They finally brought it up, found the large Macedon skull, tusks and all. Also found a stone tool made out of volcanic rock. And I'll show you that in a second. But what they did is they cut the tusks off and the teeth out just so it could be looked at, studied. They were just, you know, fishermen out there doing their daily work. So they brought these specimens in to get them looked at. Here are the Macedon teeth that were cut out. These dated to 22,000 years ago. And then here is the stone tool that was found, front and back view. Can you say this stone tool was used to hunt this Macedon? Well, you're making assumptions, but the fact is, a very ancient tool was found next to a 22,000 year old Macedon in 240 feet of water. But I will leave this link below. They did some studies here. They found some micro traces of the knife use. Here is the Macedon tusk. The water, or they think the water discolored it some. So I think that is a very interesting story coming from the mid-70s. And somebody noticed these in a museum and kind of put two and two together. Now here is a drawing of the dates and the sea level rise. They think this was a freshwater peat bog over 14 and a half thousand years ago and then way back into history that's where they think the macedon was living the people using this tool and then about 14 and a half thousand years ago this became a saltwater marsh when sea levels rose submerging the peat bog and then sea level rise at 14,400 years ago that's the dating they have on here but it's quite significant and submerged this whole area under at least a couple hundred feet of water. Here is a story coming from 2018. It's an update done on a story from 2014 originally. It says 22,000 year old Macedon and tool discovery raises questions. A 22,000 year old Macedon skull and tool dredged from the seafloor at Chesapeake Bay by fishermen in 1974 is only now coming to light. So this story didn't get out there too much, but I will leave this link below if you want to read it. It says the bottom of Chesapeake Bay hasn't been dry since 14,000 years ago. The relics were found in a net brought up from, this one says, 230 feet down and 60 miles off Chesapeake Bay by a small wooden scallop trawler. The crew cut the tusk and the teeth off and dropped the rest of the Macedon skull into the bay as it was too heavy to bring in. They split up the pieces as souvenirs and ended up donating some to the Gwynn's Island Museum in Virginia. That's where they were discovered by Darren Lowry, a geologist at the University of Delaware, where he was doing his doctoral paper. So 
he really noticed that they might have had something really significant here and very, very ancient. This article also talks about the Salutrians. I have not talked about the Salutrians too often, but this led led to some people thinking these were Salutrian artifacts. They said these look like Salutrian artifacts coming from Europe and a long time ago, but found next to a Macedon, 22,000 years old and 230, 240 feet of water. Just for comparison, here is what was found off Chesapeake Bay. Here are Salutrian artifacts and the Salutrians, they think, are going around 21,000 years ago in Western Europe. So you can see somewhat of a similarity there. But this is all very interesting. This blade was made out of volcanic rock. What is the source? What is the origin for that? I have talked about wide scale trade in the ancient United States, but that's a little different. This has to be very ancient, found offshore under the ocean. I thought this was a very interesting one to include in my Ancient America series. There has been other stone tools, hearths, anvils, and some guesses on the date pushes them back 20,000 years. Those discoveries made in the nearby area, I might be talking about them soon. Other Macedons, mammoths have been found here, but that is a Macedon bone found at the bottom of the sea, 240 feet deep. A stone tool brought up with it. What is the story there? You can leave your thoughts below. Be interesting to hear what you think about this one. But Macedon teeth, they were cut off of the discovery made in the net in 1974. I just think that story deserves more attention than it appears to have received. But that is an interesting find. Makes you wonder what else will be found right off the coast. Sea level rise covered up a lot of history. But I want to thank George in Delaware for sending me that article. That is a wrap on the lower 48. Hope you thought that was cool. And you all have a very nice day.